Hi everyone, my name is Master David, the founder of Imperial Harvest. Today, I have a special guest with me, Kelvin. Kelvin, would you like to briefly introduce yourself sure. and also what brought you to Imperial Harvest? Sure. Mm. Uh, my name is Kelvin Neal. I'm in the real estate industry. Back then, I was actually uh, diagnosed with uh, cervical spine injury. So we are actually looking for uh, Feng Shui Master to help me uh, cure my illness. So when I get in touch with them, I, they actually told me, I don't see people anymore. Then another master told me, uh, sorry, my, my shadow is all full. So back then I was quite uh, kanchong, uh, very, very, very worried. And uh, I think there's something wrong in my uh, feng shui layout at home that causes uh, the illness. So my wife actually toggled uh, this Facebook and we found Imperial Harvest. Just a joke, uh. my wife told me, hey, we can actually try this Master David. I said, no, uh, he's selling jewelry, uh. how can he help me, you know, something like this. Then she said, why don't you give it a try? So at a serious note, we went to this gallery here. So back then, Erica came in, uh, Master David also came in to actually introduce product called Kenlong Mountain. Uh. Actually, yeah. Actually, yeah. Mountain. Master David, he did not ask me to buy. He's, he's recommending a remedy for me after looking at my parts, you know, style thing. So, uh, my surgery was scheduled 5th of September. However, Master David gave me a text and told me that he will come on the 4th of September to help me uh, do a prayer in my, at my balcony. Yeah, he mentioned about Qi Men Tun Jia or something like that. Mm. Yeah, to actually uh, give a smooth sailing uh, surgery. So I was quite skeptical. La. He said he will come at 8 a.m. I told my wife, Pu Kalenda, he will not come at 8 a.m. So we was just waiting la, and I, I, I'm a very negative that moment la, really when you are really down, you know, you, you think that nobody can help you. So the bell ring, la, who I saw was my master David <laughs> at my doorstep. Sun Sun eh, 7 59 a.m. And he bought all the necessary uh, things for the prayer. We was quite touched by his uh, gesture. And I told my wife, whatever the Master David told us, right, I think we should, should consider. So we came here to box the JD, right? The mountain. Mm. Yeah. And also I bought a citrine dragon for my office. And for my personal use, right, I have this Fuan Kong JD. It's already two years and I can see my uh, health is getting better and better and also for my business, double or maybe triple for now. So I really appreciate uh, Master David help. I think Kevin, so uh, you've shared a lot. So what is your first impression of uh, Imperial Harvest mm. and what made you want to you know, invest in our products as well? Mm. So I came to <laughs> Imperial Harvest. Uh, it was attracted by the beautiful gallery here. This actually gave me a very strong impression of Imperial Harvest. Yeah, especially uh, we see the items are, although it's expensive, whatever money you spend, right, is, is zero after a few, I mean, a few months. You know, it cover back your, whatever you have spent for the product. Actually, Kevin, I, I also recall that when we went down to your place, uh, whatever feng shui work that has been done previously, this is also uh, like a point, uh, you know, for us to, uh, you know, for even for our audience to learn from as well. Because yeah. sometimes, you know, putting the wrong, you know, feng shui ornaments, yeah. whether is it the animal, all right, uh, all right. you know, yeah. can cause quite a fair bit of right. issues. Because right. this was the case that happened to uh, Kelvin when yeah. we went down to visit yeah. his place. Based on the placement of some of the different zodiac animals, yeah. uh, we actually made quite a lot of forecasts, yes. you know, about right. the past. Uh, situations, yeah. you know, the events, the incidences that uh, Kelvin mm. has encountered. Mm. Uh, and then of course, by removing them, mm. it has also helped him to, you know, remedy and remove some of the inauspicious energies uh, that has been harboring in the house. Yeah, so. I still remember it's my son's study room. Mm. There's four animals there. Mm. Actually, Mas David told me that this one animal created a, a lot of fire, mm. something like that. Mm. And actually it's good for my son. In the long run, right, it's not very uh, good for the family or something mm. like that, yeah. Mm. Mm. Because we always forget to remove the animal after a year, you know. Mm. These are, I believe these are all small feng shui layout. Mm. In Master David method, right, he actually con considered a big feng shui. You no need to change every year. Yeah, but for small feng shui, right, you need to change every year. 
but if you forget to change uh, mm, this yeah. fire uh, will create a lot of fire in your house <laughs> what happened was that the animal was being placed uh, in uh, we call it the ying wu shui uh, so it was being set up as a tiger the horse the dog was being placed in the house that uh, created very strong fire energy while uh, the placement is accurate is correct but it's not compatible with the parts chart you know of uh, Kelvin itself so that's why when Kelvin was using the study room it created a lot of negative energy you know caused his health to deteriorate over time and yeah. often by removal of all this inauspicious item it has also helped him you know to recover yeah. a lot faster and also more importantly to make sure that his mm. career can prosper as well so Kelvin would you like to first you know, yeah. share with the audience the pendant yeah, that you're pendant, wearing pendant yeah. Is like yeah, this is the yeah. Guan Gong, you know, Guan holding Gong, the yeah. victorious Correct. Mm. I actually do a lot of praying uh, every morning. I don't know whether is it because of this or, or maybe I, my praying every day is, is a totally a very smooth day la, with some cruising in between, you know. So Kevin, yeah. what are some of the most memorable deals, right? Mm. Uh, you have clothes yeah. after wearing the Guan Gong. Correct. Mm. So, in fact, I have closed a very big deal after wearing this Guan Gong, right? Or even uh, the product that I placed in my house and my office, right? Actually, I closed a, a, a 5.8 million uh, property. And this is my biggest deal in my real estate career. In fact, the valuation I did for this house is 4.8 million. Oh, 1 million above? It's valuation. 1 million above valuation. So, in fact, this kind of property, right? You must find the right audience and the right person who, are, who can appreciate this kind of property. Because this terrace house, valuer don't value the basement for brick. So this basement is like the first floor. So a lot of buyer came and said, oh no, they're based on valuation. They can't match my selling price. But this buyer, he know about property. And from then, right, the property still grow you know, to the price of maybe 6 million. For this particular Quan Gong, right, is holding a victorious yeah. flag, right, right, in a in a sitting position. Basically, the victorious flag, right, uh, symbolizes Qi Kai De Shen, uh, so achieving uh, victories and success. And then you will also notice another feature about this Guan Gong is that it's holding this uh, particular saber uh, and it's known as the Qinglong Yuan Yue Dao. Uh, the purpose of it is to help you to eliminate obstacles, eliminate your enemies and overcome uh, all the challenges in your life. Another central feature about this design is the treasure trove. Uh, that your Ju Bao, Ju Cai, Zhao Cai and can help you to accumulate more wealth in your financial journey as well. So these are the three like essential features that we have introduced in this particular design. And of course it's patented uh, by Imperial Harvest as well. Another thing is also, I think just now Kelvin also did mention, you know, that uh, in his house we also installed the Qianlong Jedi Mountain. So, and of course, there's a long history, you know, about this Qianlong Jedi Mountain. We have seen it in Christie's, we have seen it in Sottersby, all these different auction houses uh, selling the Qianlong Jedi Mountain. Mm. And of course, much, much more exorbitant prices, over two, three million dollars transacted price, right? So, uh, some of the misconception that most people would have is that, you know, uh, like what some of the Feng Shui master would say, actually, Feng Shui is not about place of auspicious you know objects or artifacts I think this is the the beef that most uh, of the classical feng shui masters uh, tend to have uh, with imperial feng shui but what they forgot is that you know feng shui came from the uh, royal family since the Song dynasty since the Min dynasty since the Qing dynasty they are already feng shui masters and of course uh, the reason why all these feng shui artifacts they were even placed right in the uh, in the imperial palaces is because the emperors actually use all these different uh, wonderful, beautifully crafted artifacts uh, to enhance the overall energy in the imperial palaces. And I think when it comes to working with our client, uh, like for example, Kelvin, after the placement of the Qianlong Jedi Mountain, all the benefactors that he encounter when it comes to closing deals, when it comes to closing some seemingly impossible deals, when he first mm. told me about that property that he sold $1 million above valuation, it just means the kind of, uh, you know, uh, journey that he experienced and, you know, uh, the uh, different people that he met along the way, Yep. Uh, that can help him to accomplish you know yep. such a deal uh, I would say these are all very you know uh uh, sort of like telling, you know, of the kind of uh, uh, benefits and the miracles that, you know, the Imperial Harvest Qianlong Jedi Mountain has brought to him. Mm. Uh, Imperial Harvest, we have also gone the extra mile to work with yes, him, uh, right. to source the office. Because yeah. Kelvin told me, uh, Master, I needed an office. Yeah. So what happened was that uh, I could recall, I went down to his ERA office. Correct. So we, we did a check. Yeah, uh, for that was after my surgery. Mm, yeah. Correct. 
Yeah. So we did a check for Kelvin's office. What happened yeah. in Kelvin's mm. office was, I could mm. recall, when I go to your office, I did a measurement. No feng shui, uh, you are saying. You know, no there, there is, because the, the whole building, right, is on Kong Wang. Uh, so what happened yeah. was that it was very difficult. The office is not manifesting really, really good energy. Yeah. So I went to Kelvin, I measured his door, I measured his desk. You know, I told him that, hey, Kelvin, this we need to get out of this office. Yeah. And I think what I uh, like about Kelvin is that he's a very fast action taker. He don't like yeah. to wait. He jumped straight in uh, and we started to look for uh, for the auspicious office, yeah. you know, for him. And then, uh, Kelvin, would you like to share a bit of experience? I, because I cannot move much uh, because after my surgery with mm -hmm. the next support, I was sitting in my uh, study area. Then I sent a lot of link to Master David. Uh. He immediately tell me, oh, this cannot, this cannot, this cannot, this cannot, this cannot. Everything I sent, uh, he said cannot. I do a lot of praying. I manifest in my in, in front of my uh, Buddha with this uh, mm. Jedek, the Guang Gong. I hold it, I say, Chiu Chiu Ni Ya, Ki Wo Yi Ken, on the office. Uh. Got all the property guru I search, right? There's none, he say okay. Mm. Then after that, well, I went back to my study area, I sent him another link. He said, okay. I said, huh? Okay, uh, let's go for a viewing. Yeah. Mm. Immediately, we arranged viewing. And the next day, he came personally to the office to uh, to audit the uh, the office. And he said, perfect, let's put a deposit. So after the office, mm. you came down, uh, we do a minor renovation. Mm. And you suggested to me that we you should put a citrine dragon, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. So we did uh, share. Uh, Kelvin that, you know, to enhance the overall energy of this mm. office because now he's embarking on his career. Yeah. I think it's because right after the surgery, right, you know, I think uh, as a function master, we also want Kelvin to start on good notes and now we can also rejuvenate uh, this office energy with a very beautiful Citrine Imperial Dragon as well. So, Kelvin, yeah. well, maybe we can take this opportunity to mm. also, you know, ask you how do you find the interactions uh, yeah. with our team, uh, with myself and my also yeah. my fellow team members. Uh, in well. fact, I yeah. feel very comfortable. In fact, my wife also very comfortable because Erika is the first point of contact. She's not pushy. She uh she don't ask you to keep on buying, buying, buying. Yeah, but she's very uh, kind, and also Master David also very kind. He don't really ask me to buy. Like seriously, it's myself uh, who wanted to buy after my surgery. We value long-term client relationship. I think it's very different uh, from the rest of the, the Feng Shui brands outside because I think most of the time, uh, Feng Shui masters, they don't conduct reviews mm. uh, with their clients. Uh, Imperial Harvest, we're different. Uh, we conduct uh, annual reviews and also provide ongoing support uh, yeah. for our client. Uh, and all these are done free of charge. And this is also aligned with our company values as well because we believe in being a long-term partner uh, with our client and supporting them uh, through every change in life. And because mm. change is the only constant uh, as our life journey progresses you know our priorities will change and this, this is where Imperial Harvest we come in uh, to work with our client hand in hand uh, and basically handhold them in this journey with our Feng Shui expertise uh, to help them you know journey on and achieve different milestones yeah. Yeah. so Kelvin uh, would you mm. recommend Imperial Harvest to others and what would you say to you know perhaps your friend or colleagues who are considering Imperial Harvest yeah mm. I have actually recommended a few of my friends to Imperial Harvest they are actually very happy with with uh, Master David. So we are actually like very close family like, with Imperial Harvest. So basically, if you really think, still thinking whether you should visit Imperial Harvest, I think you should because it's a free consultation. If you really want to get the product, I think you should because I feel that always the first step that is very difficult. For me, I spent about 100K over for these three products. Of course, you will feel the pain, but I believe when you bought it, you see the result, you won't be able to know you have spent hundred thousand because your your achievement will be triple four or even more four than the triple. I think everything in life entails an investment. You know, an investment in yourself is probably the best investment you can ever make. Most people, a perception about feng shui is that, oh, is it just about arrangement of furniture? Is it just all about, you know, uh, placement of some water features? I think the biggest irony that I find so far is that a lot of, uh, you know, uh, what classical feng shui actually preaches, oh, no placement of products. Actually, maybe a better way to put it is, oh, uh, you can use uh, cheap products. I think at the end of the day, uh, there's no replacement, you know, for, for something that's great. Good is never cheap and cheap is never good. I think Imperial Harvest, why we uphold uh, such superlative 
quality standards is because we don't want to make sure that we can uphold our brand promise uh, to our client and to support them through every important milestone and at the end of the day, you know, uh, we are accountable towards our client. When our client prosper, when our client flourish, you know, we also grow together with our clients as well. So people always ask me, hey, Master David, you know, uh, why do you hold yourself to such high standards? Why do we always provide, you know, annual uh, free parts of review? Even Feng Shui audit itself that we do for our existing clients are all complementary. The reason why we go to such extra miles uh, to work with our clients is because fundamentally, we always believe in one thing, right? When our client do well, we will always do well as well. So the reason why Imperial Harvest has done so well over the years is because our client has prospered. And I think that's the logic that most of the classical feng shui master has missed. They always thought that, oh, you know, it's just all about, uh, you know, buying expensive feng shui products. Actually, no, it's all about our commitment to our client's success. Yep. This is what makes Imperial Harvest different. And I think to also position Imperial Harvest as just a feng shui jewelry company, I think that's wrong. We are a consultancy company. Our consultancy is the heart of our business. We provide excellent advice to our client, we guide them through difficult moments, challenging moments, we are always there for the clients and to make sure that we see them through uh, to their success and to make sure that they achieve all the important milestones in their career. And also I need to add on, uh, Master David in fact is very uh, thoughtful. I mean the property line, right? He personally will go down and audit the house for free for me. Right? Without money, right? seriously. It's free or chat for me. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, this is our commitment. Yeah. I mean, uh, we have also done that, you know, for other uh, clients mm. as well. So this is always about, you know, how yeah. we help. Mm. Correct. Mm. You know, looking back at your mm. journey uh, yeah. with Imperial Harvest, you know, if I, if I were to ask you to summarize in a few sentences, yeah. how do you feel about this journey? You know, and perhaps you can yeah. share as well. To be honest, right, two years ago, right, I already died. Seriously, I already died. I think if I don't, I didn't really have the chance to beat Master David. Uh, well, I will not be as today, la, seriously. Perhaps Kelvin can also share with us, you know, yeah. what do you aspire to, you know, accomplish with Imperial mm. Harvest yeah. in years to come as well. Okay, mm. uh, for me, right, honestly, uh, back then in 2022, I was down with my surgery and also my illness, right? Mm. A lot of people will see me, hey, this guy, I really cannot really. He actually handicapped. How can he sell house? How can he I mean, improve his uh, sales. How can he actually lead a team with a handicap, you know? But I always believe in myself and always busy believe with uh, Imperial Harvest that can help me to achieve what I can get. With the kind of movement, right? Slow movement after surgery, I really can't really walk so much, but I can achieve rising million air, which, which means that I crop more than 500,000 in, in 2022. Eh. Mm. That's impossible with the help of Imperial Harvest. So I think if you are still thinking whether should you come, right? Mm. Just come. I, Kelvin Neal, right, will give you the assurance. I want to thank Kelvin for, yeah, for taking no his uh, time off, his very busy schedule, you know, to share with our yeah. audience. You know, he's shared a lot of uh, his personal Person, testimony yeah. Yeah. with his, a lot of his friends, his colleagues, and referred many people uh, to come and consult Imperial Harvest. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, at the heart of Imperial Feng Shui, we always believe in supporting our client uh, through every change in his life. And I think what we have seen over here is how Kelvin has, you know, overcome his, you know, illnesses and eventually emerged victorious, right, at the end of his journey, yeah. right? Uh, and I also also seen how he has impacted many of his clients' life through his real estate expertise yeah. as well. When it comes to working with our client, I think this interview, I think, showcase, you know, first of all, how Imperial Harvest value our long-term working relationship with our customers mm -hmm. and also making sure that our client uh, will be able to thrive, succeed, prosper and flourish at every critical stage in their life itself. Thank you everyone for watching this episode and thank you, Kelvin, for taking your time off to attend this interview as well. You're welcome. Mm.